Australia has resumed its search for the missing Malaysia Airlines plane. The operations have kicked off again from Perth in Western Australia. Let's go straight to Andrew Thomas, who's live for us from Perth. Andrew, yet another day has dawned there. What's happening in the search today? Well, it's two weeks to the day since that Malaysia Airlines plane went missing. Who'd have thought two weeks ago that I'd be standing here on the southwest tip of Australia talking out about a plane that was heading from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing? Quite remarkable what's happened over the last two weeks and how the search has led to here. Of course, it was on Thursday that Australia's Prime Minister said the satellite images had spotted what he said were two objects, big objects, floating in the ocean, the southern Indian Ocean. The search for those objects so far by plane and by boat has turned up nothing. Five aircraft went out on Friday. They all returned without having seen the objects that the satellite had seen. On Saturday, I think it's fair to say the search is intensifying. Six aircraft are now part of the search. Four have already left from this Air Force base. Another two will go in the next hour or two. The nature of the search is changing slightly as well because while on Friday the planes that were being used had to fly for four hours before they even got to the search zone, had two hours of search time before they had to return back. On Saturday, two of the planes that are flying out can get there quicker and spend five hours rather than two hours looking. So they'll be able to spend longer looking for debris if indeed that's what it is. Also on Saturday, an Australian naval vessel should arrive in the search area. There are already two commercial ships looking there as well. The weather, too, is probably going to be at its best on Saturday. It wasn't good on Thursday. It improved a bit on Friday. It's going to get worse on Sunday. Saturday's weather is probably the best it's going to be for some days. If there's anything to be found, it could be on Saturday that it is found. Now, Andrew, on Friday, there seemed to be optimism that this debris spotted by uh, Australian satellites would be found. As you said, that wasn't the case. Has the mood changed today? Is there still that optimism? Well, optimism is a strange word, of course, in this context, because while, of course, the families of the passengers are waiting desperately for news, they realise as well it's news that they might be dreading. It could be the worst possible news. But in terms of optimism at spotting something, well, it hasn't diminished, because when Prime Minister Tony Abbott said on Thursday that he was sending planes to look out over the sea, he did warn that it could take some days before any objects were spotted. It would have been a surprise, frankly, if the first wave of planes had spotted these objects on Friday. So although, of course, a certain degree of disappointment that the planes on Friday came back empty-handed, if you like, all hope isn't lost that today's or Sunday's could see something down there. Of course, should caution, but if they do spot these objects, and of course these objects may well have drifted a long way from where they were spotted last Sunday now in those satellite images, if objects are spotted, there's nothing to say that they definitely come from the Malaysian Airlines plane. We could still be on another false lead, although given the intensity of the search, given China and Japan are also sending aircraft down, they should arrive on Saturday and Sunday, more boats heading as well. The focus really is out in the southern Indian Ocean, so while, if you like, the rhetoric isn't getting too excited, the activity is certainly ramping up. Andrew, thanks very much. Andrew Thomas uh, from Perth in Western Australia with the latest on the search for that missing Malaysia Airlines plane.